Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day, man. Terry McLaurin has signed, <laughs> finally. <laughs> Terry McLaurin has signed an extension. He's signed a three-year extension to the Washington Commanders, finally. He also, um, along with this extension, uh, signs a $28 million signing bonus as well. So if we take a look at this, uh, this is from uh, Adam Schefter. Uh, Washington Commanders wide receiver Terry McLaurin is signing a three-year extension worth up to $71 million in new money that places him among the NFL's five highest paid wide receivers, according to sources from ESPN. Agents Buddy Baker and Tony uh, Bonagura of e Exclusive Sports Group finalized the deal Tuesday with Washington Senior Vice President of Football Operations Rob Rogers. The three-year extension for McLaurin includes a $28 million signing bonus, the largest given to any wide receiver, and also has a 76.4% of the new money in the deal guaranteed. The deal contractually ties McLaurin, who is 26 years old, to Washington through the 2025 season. McLaurin's rookie contract had been set to expire after this season. Uh, of course, it, it goes on to talk about how McLaurin had skipped OTAs and so forth and so on. And, and uh, so Terry McLaurin is back as a Washington commander Certainly going to you know be reporting to training camp on time. This is such great news if you are a Washington Commanders fan. Uh, but more so, it's exciting because now we are truly going to have a stacked wide receiving core. I mean, if there was no doubt to begin with, right? I mean, we knew that at some point we we're going to have Terry McLaurin. Uh, okay, there there was a little bit of doubt there that. You know, was Terry going to actually start holding out during the season as well? You know, I was really starting to, to wonder about that. Um, luckily, that wasn't going to be the case, um, you know. Uh, but that was something that was in the back of my mind. Having said all that, now we're looking at McLaurin, Dotson, um, Samuel. <laughs> I mean, three guys right there. And we still got Diami Brown, um, who could still possibly develop into something strong as well. I mean, three young guys who are dynamic, who have the potential to be dynamic. We already know what Terry McLaurin can do. We've heard some great, great things from John Dotson out of OTAs. And so, I mean, you know, we know that Curtis Samuel is healthy again. Going to see what Brown could do for us, but those guys right there, those four guys, and then of course we got some other guys as well. Still have, you know, Stephen Sims there. We got um, Adam Humphreys who was a great possession guy for us at times, and so I mean we've got lots and lots and lots of receivers. I mean we. We got more receivers than I think we have any other type of football players on this team, honestly. Now, certainly the downside, I, I would say, to this contract is three-year contract. So by the time that we look at extending Terry McLaurin again, then you're going to have to start looking at some of these other rookies that you're going to have to extend. Uh, assuming that these guys come as advertised, you know, Jahan Dotson, at that point, you're going to start looking at him and saying, we're going to have to start talking contract extensions for him at that point. And some of these other guys, too. So, you know, the commanders are going to have to, to play this, you know, very carefully because, you know, if these guys... I mean, you don't expect all these guys to turn out to be superstars. But, you know, assuming best-case scenario, most of these guys do... Well, I mean, you you would you would really like to be able to stagger these contracts in order to 
make sure that you know you're not having like all these guys being in the contract here all at once because you know quite frankly you are going to have to wind up losing some guys you would hate to lose um, so that would be my only thing is only having a three-year extension hopefully uh, what will happen is we will continue to throw extensions at, at McLaurin, especially if this team shows success and they're able to uh, become contenders. I would think a team that is a contender would be a lot more of an attractive team for McLaurin to want to stay on as opposed to a team that continues to be in turmoil and has coaching turnovers and, and you know so forth and so on. So... But I, I am, I'm relieved at this point, at least for right now. We can breathe a sigh of relief. Terry McLaurin is signed for another three years, folks. Scary Terry's back, man. So what do you think, guys? Let me know in the comments section below. Um, if you like this video, please like it, share it. And with that said, please subscribe to this channel. I'm about ready to sneeze, so I'm trying to hold that back. Uh, but please subscribe to this channel. Um, I know I have not been as, um, uh, I guess, frequent with my videos as of late. I've had a lot of um, prior obligations I've had to attend to, so it's been a little difficult to get videos out as frequently as I've uh, been wanting to. But uh, that's, you know, things are going to get better before the season, trust me. Uh, Washington Football Maniacs is going to be back and going strong pretty soon folks so don't worry about that anyway uh take care we will see you in the next video which is probably starting right about now so uh just hang tight